I'm Josh Kessler. Welcome to Expo Now. This is Josh Kessler, Expo Now. I'm not myself today. Can't find Cindy, my noble leader. Don't know where she's at. I think she's mad at me. It's one of those things. She's usually mad at me. Anyway, moving along to the employee spotlight. We have our new catering manager, Pam Hamilton. Pam, how are you? I'm great, Josh. How are you? I'm always great. You know that. I mean, I'm trying. I'm, I'm, I have my moments, but let's not go there. Tell me about you. What do you do at the Expo? I am the catering manager here at the East Kentucky Expo. Um, what I do is I make sure that your event from beginning to end has the best, most delectable food that you can have. Mm, you're making me hungry thinking about it right now. Oh, Denny. I'm sorry, I'm, getting, I'm thinking about Denny right now <laughs> and, his, and his awesome shrimp and his, oh goodness. Uh, anyway, we'll, we'll get back to you right now. Okay, so you are local, correct? Yes, tell I me, am. Tell me about you. Yeah, I've lived here all of my life here in Pike County. Um, I'm a Johns Creek girl, so I went to Johns Creek High School. Um, I've worked local. I've been a big active uh, participant in our community, and that's why I'm here. Uh, that's why I'm at the Expo Center, because they are such participants in the community, and that's what I want to do. That was the perfect answer right here on Expo Now. Another, let me get uh, one more question. You ready for it? I'm going to throw a curveball at you. So, is food and beverage a big passion to you? Absolutely. Um, I have cooked all of my life, and I've always heard that the way to a person, to their heart, is through their stomach. So, tell me, what do you like best about living in Eastern Kentucky? The people, Josh. The people? What else? I mean, where else can you find the most kind, the most hospitable people than in Eastern Kentucky? Oh, bes besides me. <laughs> besides I'm so you, Josh. Oh, that tear. Anyway, tell me, tell me something else. What is your favorite dish to prepare? I lean more on the dessert pastry side. <sighs> so I guess my very favorite dessert that I prepare is called Death by Chocolate. So what's in the Death by Chocolate? I can't tell you that, Josh. It's a secret. Why not? I can't. <sighs> okay. This has been Employee Spotlight right here on Expo Now. Joshua Reed Kessler, in my office, please. Josh. Yes. We need to have a talk. Okay. Lose the bunny ears. Yes, boss. And the tail. Oh, my tail. Okay. This is a place of business. I appreciate your creativity and your enthusiasm, but it's getting out of hand. Did you or did you not make all the toilets in the expo green today? I didn't do it. That was not me. I did not do that. Josh, all the last other shenanigans. month you were out on the street in a diaper. That was me. I take credit for that. The others were not me. I did not do that. All I've had is reports all morning of little things that are happening around the arena and Josh, it's always you. I was trying to be festive. So you did make the toilet water screen. I didn't make the toilet water screen. Who did? Uh, okay. You don't know anything about it. I don't. I, I kind of do though. You think I'm gonna, you're gonna think I'm crazy, but oh, really? there's a man with a beard in a leprechaun, you no, know, don't follow me here. He's in a leprechaun outfit and he's got a pot of gold and he is doing this to me. He is sabotaging me and my reputation. He's seriously, I'm looking right at him. Please just, just look, amuse me, please look. Hmm. Is he, is he right here, Josh? He's, I'm looking right at him. He's got a ginger looking beard, a green hat, a green shirt, and a bucket of okay. gold. Okay, enough. <sighs> I'm concerned. I'm, I'm concerned enough, and we're gonna see if we can get you some help. I really see, that. you don't see what I'm seeing. Really? A little green man. <sighs> He's got no. a beard. No. All right, I can't deal with this today. I have lots of things on my plate. 
I have assigned you a temporary GM for the day to help you out. Oh, and we God. will talk about this later. Really? Yes. I want the shenanigans to end. No more talk of little green men from Mars or wherever they're from. He's from you Ireland. Don't see, there's no little green man. No little green man. Say that. No little green man. But there is a little green man. Josh. There is. Please don't make me send you home. Oh. No little green man doing <sighs> pranks. It's Josh doing pranks. It's not Josh. But okay, fine. Josh is doing the prank. You'll see. I'm going to catch that man. I'm going to catch that little green man and I'm going to bring him to you. And you'll see. Okay, Josh. Get some work done. <sighs> yes, boss. Here, take the, the bunny ears and the tail with you. I'm out. So, I'm your host, Josh Kessler, and you're on Expo now. And, of course, as Cindy mentioned, I have an interim general manager. And guess who it is? All the way from Lexington, Kentucky. The man, the myth, the legend, the sideburns, if you will. Christopher Bentley of Sunday Best. He's right here. Hey. Hey, man. You, so, you come in here looking all cool and, and all dapper and fly, and, and everybody just forgets about old Josh now. If this is dapper then that's a new definition for dapper. But, uh, you, 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 sir, okay. are the man. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, you come in here, and I'm pretty sure, like, the room just went to you. I was like, I'm host just about to leave the building. I guess I've <laughs> lost my gig. So, anyway, you're here. It's just temporary. Okay. Yeah. okay. You're going to fire me yet? Uh, well, we'll see how this goes. Oh, you're, you're on good terms right now. I'm on good terms, yeah. and he doesn't know what he's yeah. getting into. <laughs> anyway, we got Chris here with us. He's going to talk about... April 2nd, and you know what that is. It's mm -hmm. the, revival. the Revival. So tell me about the different groups that you're, we're bringing into this. This is almost like a festival event, right? Yeah, it's, um, I like to call it organized chaos. Organized chaos, I can work with um, that. So it'll be an all day event. Um, I think there's six acts six right acts. now. Six acts, you've Could got. Could be seven or eight. You've got Eleanor's Revival, which mm -hmm. is you, correct? Yeah, it's uh, Eleanor's Revival. Um, and then uh, Nick Jamerson, Nick who Jamerson. I play with in Sunday Best, will okay. be here. Who else we got? Um, Leah Blevins. Leah Blevins. She's okay. a Kentucky native out of Nashville. She just released her first um, solo record. Great. Uh, check her out. Um, Brother Smith. Brother Smith. Uh, Wes and Aaron Smith. They're from uh, northern Kentucky, Kenton okay. County. Okay. Um, but they, they live in Lexington and some guys that play around there that are really great. Um, was it if birds could fly? Is if that birds one? could fly, Those yeah. One? They're from okay. just right across the mountain. Oh, okay. In, right, uh, I like how you said right across the mountain. Yeah. I like that. Andrew like Carter that. and Brittany Carter. Um, so this brain, talk to me about this brainchild. What made you want to put this festival together? Well, I just wanted to kind of get as many musicians together on the same page. You're putting the, a lot of talent same. in one room. You know yeah, that. Yeah, and... I, and I want it to all be about the event that we can create, not necessarily about, you know, money or anybody in particular in competition with anybody else. It's just all about that day. It's about the day, the music. Here in Pikeville, Kentucky, the music. Yeah. And uh, give people an opportunity to, to play their own original music. And there you go. we've got some new things going on that we're excited about. So it's, it's kind of, I like to call it a volunteer-based musical gathering. Well, tickets went on sale February 26th. Get them now. Tickets are on sale now. So definitely want to be a part of that. Before you go, my friend, I've got something for you. I want to be a part of the revival, OK? okay. You so, are a part of it. You oh, man, it yet. I am. But I'm going to be a big part. You ready for it? <laughs> Let's go. Ready? Hey, Chris, don't look so sad. It's just me playing this guitar yeah. with my right hand. <laughs> I said, hey Chris, hey Chris, don't look so sad. Don't look so sad. We're gonna bring the revival to Pikeville and everyone will be so glad. glad. That's right, my friend. You're hired. Oh, really? Yeah. That was that was great. You're fired fun. first. Oh. But I'll hire you back because I, I guess my interim position is held throughout the I'm gonna correct. I'm gonna channel channel my inner Chris. Wop out. There you did go. I do good? Yeah, I mean I, I think you should do both of those. Should I do yeah. like a You're really showing some promise. Did I, I get mean, it? That's that's uh you're definitely on to that's that's reviving. Yeah. I touched my legs, I was doing it. Yeah. See that? Now, what that about dance? Simple. Can you dance? If I can't join your crew, 
We've got Dwight Yoakam okay. coming. So, okay. so watch my Dwight steps. Okay. Ready? Have I got the gig? Ah, uh, you've got something. Yeah. I've got, I've got something. <laughs> yeah. I think I got a bad back. Oh. <laughs> anyway, thank you for stopping by. Wait, do you see that? Do you see? Do you see that? It's like a leprechaun. Where? Do you see him? He's drinking coffee. You're seeing things, sir. Seriously? You don't see that. Anyway, I appreciate you stopping by. I'm gonna get that stupid leprechaun right, and prove it to Cindy that I'm not crazy. <laughs> you know what? April 2nd is gonna be a great time. Feel free to stop by anytime. We cool. love you. Love you, man. I'll be right back. Welcome to my favorite part of Expo now and yours. It's time to Dine Hard with Chef Denny Wallace and, and me. I'm up. <laughs> anyway, oh, and I forgot. Forgot, we've got our interim general manager, the man, Mr. Christopher Bentley here with us. Oh, hey. hey. I'll let you know when the food's ready. <laughs> okay, thanks. Let's see how to done that. <laughs> anyway, we are here for Die Hard, and we're gonna be making some Irish stew. Irish stew. Irish, Irish stew. stew. <laughs> Is that made in Ireland? It can be. Ireland. <laughs> All right. Danny? Yes, sir. Do you do you see that leprechaun? Do you see that? I mean, he's... Do you I see what I see? see? I don't see nothing. Anyway, let's get back to cooking. Right. I'm having a day. Okay, right. what do we do first? First, we're gonna... We got some stew meat that we're gonna... It's cubed up, seasoned. Um, when you do this... I feel like a T-Rex. Uh, <laughs> you don't wanna... What they call... Um, Overcrowd your pot, which is where you Man just down. throw everything in at once. You want to, yeah, it'll splash up on you. Fire department, stay at home. <laughs> Don't be trying nothing. Well, we Don't throw be some, trying nothing. You want to do this in stages? I feel like I'm fighting. Yeah, man up, son. I don't know. But uh, you get it. You want to get it till it's like. Golden brown on each side, got a little bit of crust. You want to sear the meat. You understand? Yeah, what? Sear it. Sear it. I'm going to try to get my. Ah, yeah, never mind. Don't. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah. Say song. <laughs> oh. Didn't even tong you. Brand new invention that just came out. Really? Yeah. So. We learned something new here on. I just like when I do this. <laughs> I'm addicted. I think you just like the explosion. I do. <laughs> I'm a fan, a big fan. So once we get that nice and brown, we will put this right back here on the plate. I'm gonna bring it out. Bring out the meat. So we throw the rest of the meat in there, get that browned up nice and quick. We're gonna brown the meat. We're gonna brown the meat. Yes, sir. So once we get this second stage nice and brown, we'll yeah. throw in some onions. onions. Ooh, boy. Get that going. That'll hit the like nose real quick. Also, is I got a couple things of butter here. You gonna butter me up? Yes, sir. And we I got know you some... cared, Denny. <laughs> That's why I threw the carrots in. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> you knew that I have problems seeing. Yes. Good so, for your eyes. Learn something here on Dying Hard. Throw the rest of this meat back in. Is that a myth, I wonder? Have you always heard know. that too? I've heard that too. Yeah. But yet I ate them when I was a kid. And you got bad eyes. Yeah. It is a false <laughs> statement. Forget everything I just said. It does not happen. Don't let them, don't let them kids, don't let them say, eat your carrots, you'll see better. <laughs> They're lying to you. Once we get it to this stage, you want to let it cook for a minute. Uh, get your uh, onions so they're sauteed yeah. and opaque. What we do after that, I'm a little scared now. Throw a little bit of flour in here because what this is going to do is soak up the oil and the butter and all that good stuff. Look crisp it. It actually what it does is make a roux. So what it what does. A roux. Well roux you. Yeah roux you oh, too. Oh okay. Oh I'll make a roux. Oh got it. Got it. A roux. Mm -hmm. A roux. So you want to get that and then what you want to do when you do that you want it to you ever 
We are in the South. You ever had like biscuits and gravy? It's like at a restaurant and you take a big bite of it and it tastes like nothing but flour? Yeah. It's because they didn't cook the flour taste out of it. Cook your flour. So you want to let this cook and stir it for a minute or two. Okay. Just to cook that and get the flour taste cooked out of so, it. I guess I'm going to learn why they call it stew because it's not, not getting stew yet, but it will be stew. It will. So the difference basically between a stew and a soup is soup is runny. Uh, a stew is nice and thick and hearty and all that. Learn something else on mm. Dino. Get it to that point. Stir it up, Denny. This is that, you know, that good. Oh, no, I got to smell it first. It's that good. Uh, yeah, we're good. Irish beer. <laughs> oh boy, I knew it. <laughs> now nah, you can drink a few of those and you might see some leprechauns. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm looking right at one. I'm telling. I'm, I'm, something's wrong with me. I think. I know there I is. Think that, you know, we're supposed to do with that. <laughs> yeah. Offended. Hurt. A little crying. red wine. Oh. <laughs> I, I, you need to do a taste test that before you put it in there. <laughs> yeah. God, what's we wrong? We got a uh, couple tablespoons of thyme. Who's got thyme? The thyme? You asking for the thyme? No. Oh, 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 sorry. My bad. My bad. And then we got some parsley. Ooh, parsley. I like it when you said that, Denny. Parsley. We got. Splendid. A couple tablespoons of. Uh, Tomato paste. Tomato paste. This gives us a nice richness and a little, as they say, background tomato flavor. Got some background on Expo now. And then you want. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. What's that? A couple of tablespoons of Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce? I never can say that. Me neither. Uh. And then you got two, what three you putting, bay leaves. What are you, you putting leaves in here for, Danny? Did you go outside and pick them? Yeah. Or what's your deal? <laughs> I mean, what are you trying to do here? I'm <laughs> Straight from the... Uh, from the tree? Uh, from the tree. Straight from the that expo. That tree, that's not the same tree that that dog was sniffing earlier. No. Okay, okay, cool. So we get this, bring this up. You know, bring it on us. And then... Uh-oh, what's this? Gotta we smell got it. some... I'm, I'm not sure. That is called beef stock. Beef stock. Glad I didn't take a go for that. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Got our spoon and we're stirring. We'll stir that, get that up. How long do you do you recommend stirring everything around? Just, Just stir it to incorporate everything. Cause see this is gonna uh, sit and simmer for a couple hours. This isn't one of those you put together and eat right away. Simmer, simmer so. down everybody, simmer down. Then the last thing. <laughs> and the taters are drained. <laughs> right here. And then right. the last, Put in like two Ooh. or three, dice them up. Uh, I like the way you dice your taters. I like them french fry taters. Mm. <laughs> Did I go there? Yeah, you went there. I went there. Oops. You went there. Mm -hmm. So what we want to do is basically just, uh, now all the ingredients are incorporated. So we bring this up to a boil. When it comes up to a boil, that's when you turn your dial down to like medium low. Don't crank it up. No. Or you'll have all kinds of good stew. Let it simmer for two, two and a half hours. And so, watch football. Yeah. Do what you, you want to stir do. it probably about every, go and check it every 15, 20 minutes. Stir it up, make sure nothing's sticking to the you bottom. You know, you could, you could do a lot of things. You come to the expo and see a show, then go back home. Yeah. You could. You exactly. Could. I'd recommend a good show. April 2nd is the revival. That's yeah. going to be a great yeah, show. That's going to be saying, awesome. Not mean to drop anything oh. in, the, in the, the stew here, but I just dropped that. <laughs> I did. Right here on Expo Now. Mm -hmm. um, once you bring it up to a boil, uh, then what you want to do is um, turn your dial down to medium, low, uh, medium, I mean low, high. Um, you want it to simmer for a good couple hours because that stew meat's got a lot of fat and collagen in it and what the, the theory of low and slow comes into play here. Get, a, get your meat um, real nice and tender. Two and a half hours later. I got my stew in the boat. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway. That it's looks nice pretty. You thick. did good. Thank you, sir. You did so good. Thank you. <laughs> oh. So, so we're going to eat it? Yes, sir. I don't even know if we're going to look at uh, it or eat it. Uh, slide me a bowl over. I guess we need to bring in the interim general manager in to eat. Come on in, sir. You'll, you'll... Serve me, please. Oh, <laughs> serving. Here is yours. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. That? 
Now, mind you, this is going to be a little hot, as you can see. <laughs> it's hot. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Chris goes in to blow. <laughs> He's got this. He's got this. You're the smart one, but I'm just going to go out. There you go. And we'll see how I, really I stupid. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how hard it is in a minute. I'm gonna try it out with my special spoon. There you go. There's your spoon. I'm gonna steal your spoon. Thank Sorry. you, sir. Okay. He's gonna blow on it. Here's Cheers, what I'm gonna do. Boys. Cheers. Cheers. Wow. I went in. That was very good. Thank well, you. Well, very good. Thank you. So I get to keep my job, boss? Yeah, you're hired. <laughs> what about me? Forever. Sweet. <laughs> working on you, sir. Yeah. Sorry. Anyway. Sorry, brother. This has been Stu <laughs> right here with <laughs> We got Chris and we got Denny. <laughs> Don't forget, April 2nd, magic happens here. The revival will be right here at the Expo Center. Mr. Chris will be right here. Christopher Bentley, appreciate you stopping by yeah, and seeing us. Yep. Oh, you can give me a little. Oh, oh. oh there's <laughs> the love. You, man. The, man, the man love right there. You're hired. Oh, <laughs> see, it worked. For Executive Shift, Denny Wallace, Josh Kessler, Christopher Bentley, thank you for watching this episode of Expo Now, right here on this segment of Dine Hall. Tune in next time. I'm going to get you, Leprechaun. I followed you all the way to the White Lightning Zip Line. Opening April 1st. Anyway, I'm gonna get you, Leprechaun. I'm gonna get you. Oh, wait, look. <laughs> You'll never catch me. <laughs> I'm gonna get you, Leprechaun. I'm gonna get you. Ah! <laughs> I'm gonna get you. Hee 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 hee!